and welcome back to Age Vampires 2 100% Opinionated Review. As today, we are doing the Mayans. Oh, yes. From the nearly OG Conqueror's Expansion. They are an archer civilization, and I have many fond memories fighting these guys. And even playing as them a few times until they became sort of irrelevant. And the Aztecs bitches basically so let's see they're missing gold shaft mining knowing no I sort of care but it's not a huge hit on the sieve they're missing arrow slits siege engineers and bombard towers all of those sort of make sense so not too bad they're missing all the cav upgrades no one cares because they don't have cav in general Siege workshop, they have siege rams, but they're lacking the siege onagers. No one cares, because the onager just is good enough. Bombard cannon's not there. They have everything in the castle you need, including hoardings and conscription. Can you imagine not having conscription? Oh, man. Late game? Oh, no. Monastery, redemption and illumination are missing, so that sort of weakens our monks. And that's why the Aztecs are far more superior in regards to monks, to the Mayans. Although the Mayans hold their ground, I suppose. The dock. Missing both cannon galleons, but as everything else, that's good enough. Cannon galleons are overrated unless you're on the Spanish, and but we'll get there. As, uh, well, the cannon galleons are overpowered. Their barracks, missing only the champion with all the necessary techs. I like that. Their archery range is missing all the cav archers, Parthian tactics, and hand cannoneers. Mostly stuff I don't care about when it comes to the archery range. So, I... Uh, well, who cares? Now, their perks start with plus one villager but minus 50 food. That does give more than it takes, I suppose, because you don't have to wait for the villager to be made. Resources last 15% last longer. I don't know what exactly that means. Does it mean when they're, like, chopping wood, they get extra from it? I suppose. Archers cost 10% <clears throat> less in the feudal, 20 in the castle, and 30 in the imperial age. All very solid Especially for an archer sieve. And you get to save gold and wood. The very things that drive the Mayan machine. Unique unit, of course, is the plumed archer. Yes, we know it's archer. I I don't know how you would mistake a plumed archer for anything else other than an archer game, but whatever. Unique text. Obsidian arrows. Archers. Crossbowmen. And Arlibus, plus six attack versus buildings. This is what makes the, Amai the Mayans obnoxious. Like, they can literally just take down your buildings with archers alone. This is why I have much salt towards this sieve in the past. And sort of now. El Dorado, the next uh, unique trick. Eagle Warriors have plus 40 hit points. That's okay, I guess. I don't really care. I don't know why that's an Imperial Age upgrade. you think the Obsidian Arrows would be before that. That's actually quite expensive for that. But I digress. And the team bonus. Walls cost negative 50%. I mean, they're not exactly a wall sieve, but it's something, I guess. Either way... What shall I give them? I am salty towards them, but I don't think they deserve to be thrown in the trash. Such as the Inca and the Malayans and the Franks. Because those were all freaking trash, dude. The Malayans was mostly a salty thing, I'll be honest. So the Mayans, they're going to get a C. Yeah, they are literally the most mediocre thing in the world. So... Please leave your comments below on what you think of the Mayan Civilization and Age of Empires 2 HD. And in the next one, we'll be moving on to the Mongols. Oh, actually a Cav Archer Civ I like. 
But I'll be back then. Have a fantastic day. Peace.